I'm Jennifer Hoyt Tidwell. I'm a theater and performance artist based in Charlottesville, Virginia. I do a lot of collaborative, multidisciplinary projects. I am so thrilled and grateful to be the first annual public artist for the bridge. I think it's an amazingly unique opportunity and something that's desperately needed here in Charlottesville as artists are sort of fleeing town from lack of space to work and uh, affordable housing options. Um, and I'm talking about mid-career serious artists, um, friends, colleagues of mine. I, I think without this sort of opportunity, I would not be able to make the things that are my gift, which are large, collaborative, big, honking, ambitious projects that involve the public in some way. I, in this particular case, and a lot of things I've done, I want to have direct contact with the public, not just arts connoisseurs or theater connoisseurs who come in and see the, the stuff my theater company does, which I will always like to do, but it, the opportunity to take the professionals I work with and the artists that I'm gonna be collaborating with on this project and, and extend that serious professional skill and passion into our community and work with the kids and hopefully the neighborhoods around where the performances are to have a truly, I don't know, integrated, high caliber, challenging work that also the community feels a great stake in. We did this together, we came together, you know, like we made this feast. So No Wake originated as a myth in my head when I was living out in Washington State in Puget Sound on an island. And it seemed to me the perfect metaphor for the connection between personal and environmental grief and isolation. Uh, both societal isolation because of technology and our loss of connection to nature and then of course the ramifications of that in the environment itself. And I imagined that the houses on this island uh, in a storm would just break off and float away. And I added to that this personal story of a widow and her daughter who are isolated from each other because something has happened. We don't know whose fault it is, but the father is dead. And that remains a question till almost the end of this story. I see it as a concentric three ring light and dark circus. So in the center is a theater performance, a silent physical theater performance outdoors. And around that are the filmmakers who will be covering it kind of concert style, or I guess you could say covering a sporting event sort of. And then stretching from there are these tentacles of the children doing the unison choreography. And that will come from out of the performance space down the sidewalks through downtown. thought, well, why don't we place it outdoors in the community and take the character of the child who is the protagonist anyway and sort of expand out the relationship with children in this community. So even though there is a single actor in that central performance, we're having this large scale dance movement piece with children that are kind of like her doppelgangers. They're gonna be spread throughout the community near the performance in a, uh, what I think will be a breathtaking um, group choreography. And I've been working with as many community groups and schools as I can to try to, you know, integrate all the different worlds of these middle school aged children so that they can meet each other, so that the community can feel like we're all related, we're all here at once. I also want to involve children who are in the juvenile detention center because those are the invisible kids here in our community and I want to hear from them since the piece is a lot about what they're inheriting and, and what the notion of what it is to be an adult in this world and what it is to be a child and what how long can you be a child and am I still a child am I acting more like a child now than I did then you know this character in this story is very much a a wise person compared to her mother. And they do find their way to empathy and to understanding how we inherit things.
<laughs> Damn it. That was like you had it. I know. <laughs> Last two words. <laughs> it's alright. It's good. It's good. Let's get you, you laughing as you as you come out of it. I mean, that's the that's the shot I'm gonna use this throw. Thank you.